here's another EG Media Group production. Create, connect, convert. This is the Small Business Monthly Expo podcast. The best source for business owners, from entrepreneurs to corporations. We're here to help your business grow throughout the Midwest and the nation. Now, here's your host, Jim Wright. I am so impressed with this Expo Hall here in St. Charles today. And this is the Small Business Monthly Expo podcast, the region's number one business conference, trade show, and networking event. People sit and tell you all about what their products and services are. We have people coming in and giving lectures and helping everyone find out what's best for their business when we get back. When the podcast returns, Jim talks with Kevin Wilson of the Small Business Empowerment Center. Hi, I'm Julia with Small Business Monthly St. Louis. We'd like to invite you to join us for the St. Louis Business Expo and Business Growth Conference at the St. Charles Convention Center. Not only is this the largest business to business expo in the Midwest, but business owners and key employees can gain months worth of valuable contacts and clients in just a few hours. And the best part is it's all free. To register, visit stlexpo.com or call us at 314-569-0076. Thanks, and I'll see you at the St. Louis Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. Join us for the next Small Business Monthly Expo, November 1st, 2022. Hey, we're here at the Expo, and we have a special guest with us today named Kevin Wilson. Kevin is the Executive Director of a Small Business Empowerment Center, and He is one of the new 100 St. Louisans you should know to succeed in business. Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you so much, Jim. I really appreciate you having me here today. Yeah, for sure. What is the St. Louis Empowerment Center? It sounds fascinating. Oh, you know, I don't know how fascinating it is, but you know, we're here. uh, We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization kind of dedicated to urban entrepreneurship, helping people start businesses and stay up, right? So start up and stay up, gaining access to capital, education, things they need to round off their knowledge of their business. Have you noticed an increase in people coming to the Empowerment Center since uh, COVID set in? Or Oh, gosh, yes. Since when COVID hit, I mean, the phones were just ringing off the hook. It was a lot of small businesses in survival mode. But, you know, what I'm seeing now is they're moving past survival and starting to really focus on growth and, and other opportunities for them. How do you help them focus on growth? Because I know how important that is to a small business. Absolutely. We do a lot in terms of business coaching, just helping them think through their goals, objectives, what they want from their business, and how not only can they help themselves, but create some jobs and help some people in their community. Have you noticed a lot of uh, small startups just saying, I want to start a business because I really like to make baskets? Absolutely. You know, we, we actually, the funny thing, we work with a lot of people, what we call encore entrepreneurs, people over 50, and a lot of them are taking hobbies and turn them into small businesses, whether it's baskets or the jar and pickles or whatever. But sure. they're having fun, and that's the that's the main thing is that they're in, they they're doing. Yeah, you know, their biggest hurdle is really just kind of, you know, figuring out how to change their hobby into a real business, right? And does that work often? Yeah, you know, I, I think. Um, entrepreneurship exploration is for everyone, sure. right? Now, is everybody built and made to run a sustainable business? Now, that might be questionable, but I think everybody should take a look at it and see what might, if it would work for them. Sure. So you help them build a business plan because I've I was with Chambers of Commerce for years, and I've noticed people coming into my office and saying, I want to start a business. They had no plan. They didn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. So we do. We help them through business planning, business model canvas, things like that. Really just once again, thinking about why do you want to start a business? What are your goals, your objectives? How are you going to fund this and and keep it sustainable? Sure. It used to be you you needed to know a a financer. You needed to have a good attorney Mm -hmm. and you needed a good accountant. And now you need the Small Business Empowerment Center. There you go, right? All right. So there's four of them now. Four of them, yes. Absolutely. So how do I get a point with you? Yeah, you can. can, uh, The easiest way is to go to our website, which is www. Uh, stlewissbec.org and you can click on my name or give me a call from right from the website. Sure. Now say that again because there's a lot of initials in there. I know. So it's really like the St. Louis Small Business Empowerment Center. So www.stlewissbec.org 
sbec.org. Are you there by yourself or do you have a lot of team members that help you? Uh, yeah, we have team members. We're also part of the uh, Small Business Administration Resource Partners. So we partner with America's Small Business Development Center, SCORE, Women's Business Center, and the Veterans Business Center. So if we can't help you, we've got other partners who can help. I mean, those are, are tons of resources that you have there. And they're all free, which is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to start up. No doubt. Yeah. No so doubt. What, uh, what is your advice for anybody that comes in and says, I want to start a business? What is your, your best advice on that? You know, really, I think is, you know, plan, 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 and make sure that you've got all your ducks in a row before you, you, you start off on this venture. Okay. And, and you have the assistance there to help them make that plan. Is that correct? Absolutely. Online resources, uh, paper resources for the old school folks. And like, yeah. I need some paper. We got that too for us. So whether it's classes, workbooks, online classes, things like that, we can meet the needs. Fantastic. And then you can ha you have resources where you can help them go out and find financing for whatever they need to do. And, Absolutely. And we give have, them advice on how to do that. Yeah. we. I'm, I'm a recovering loan officer. Oh, is that so, right? Yeah, yeah. So I can, oh, no. I can coach them through the process. And we also partner with all our local banks and lending institutions that are eager and ready to take a look at these kind of deals. Well, that's terrific. What what does make St. Louis a good place to think of something like this? You know, St. Louis is ripe for opportunity. You know, there are, you know, um, you know, between government, business, uh, local community, there's a lot of needs in the marketplace. And so they're looking for small business owners to, feed, to, to fit into those niches and, and figure out how to bring those products and services to customers. And with unemployment rates so high is this something that everybody that has come out of business due to COVID they might start thinking about okay I need to go in business for myself and be my own boss a lot of people have right and there's more opportunities from you know you know online sales things like that so a lot of people are starting to, to explore entrepreneurship and the best place to do it is through these resources that or don't cost them a lot and they can they can do that exploration and not you know break the bank while doing it absolutely absolutely so uh why are you interested in helping people i don't know i think i have something wrong with me i <laughs> <laughs> i just came out of the factory wrong uh i just you know i just really enjoy working with small business owners and uh, you know my family were serial entrepreneurs so you know i think it's in my blood i might be working out my sure, issues this sure. way <laughs> and what's it mean to be in the top 100 people to know this is fantastic i mean this is a great honor and i you know i'm humbled by this and uh but just grateful for a small business monthly to be putting something like this on and, and to honor me. Final question. When your family looks at you as, okay, he's the guy that goes out and helps people uh, and you come home and they say, what'd you do today? And you say, I got a business started and this, that, and they, what do they think? What do they say? Okay, oh, they Dad, think what? I'm completely crazy, but uh, it is, <laughs> <laughs> but they can see in my face that I'm having a great time. I enjoy the work that I do. And I think that just makes for a better atmosphere at home is that, you know, if you're doing what you love to do, you know, you're not really working a day in your life, are you? <laughs> Kevin, I could tell you, I could sit down and talk with you all day. And I think that you've got that personality where if I'm nervous about starting my own business, I could come and talk to a person like you and say, okay, this person really cares. Absolutely. And I really appreciate what you're doing for us today. And can you please tell us once again how to get a hold of you? Yeah, our website is the best place. It's at www.stlewis.com. L O U I S S B E C dot org. Okay, fine. And you have a phone number? Yeah, it's uh, area code 314 252 8547. And as for Kevin Wilson, he'll take care of you. Yeah, thank you so thank much, you, Kevin. You bet. Coming up, we're going to have a quick conversation with Ron Amlin, the president of the St. Louis Small Business Monthly, if we get back. Now a word from our sponsor. This segment brought to you by E4E. E4E, or Experts for Entrepreneurs. Operating a business is complex and time-consuming. Being successful requires expertise in many different functions. We have first-hand knowledge working with the entrepreneurs and family businesses in the Experts for Entrepreneurs Partners community. Go to e4e.com for more information and don't fly alone. You want to be an exhibitor at our next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. Not only is this the largest business-to-business -business expo in the Midwest, 
Business owners and key employees can gain months worth of clients and contacts in just a few hours. With over 20 seminars and keynote speakers, this is a can't-miss event for hundreds of business owners. Types of industries that exhibit Health insurance Design services Credit bureaus Credit cards Employee incentives Business coaches Just to name a few. If you'd like more information on how you can be an exhibitor at the next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference, go to stlouisbusinessexpo.com. One day. A lifetime of change. Ready to explore St. Louis in a unique, hassle-free way? How about on an innovative three-wheeled electric trike with Trike STL Guided Tours, a self-balancing and battery-assisted machine that's also low impact on your body and fun. Visit trikestl.com or call 314-4-TRIKKE. Join the celebration of National Small Business Week. The U.S. Small Business Administration honors the innovators who take a risk on an idea, invest in their communities, and create jobs. Small businesses make our neighborhoods vibrant places to live and work and fuel our nation's economic strength. What are the businesses that make your community great? Let us know at hashtag Small Business Week. I have with me right now with Small Business Monthly is Ron Aimlin, uh, this expo that you have. Tell me what the importance of having a booth at this expo is. It's really about exposure. You have to expose yourself to people who are interested in your products and services, and that's the folks that will be here at the expo on November 1st. So so one, it's that that exposure. And then we have sponsorship packages. And here, some of the, the best reasons to, to join in and with some of our sponsorship packages is even more exposure. We put your logo and all the materials, the the event ticket, uh, the PowerPoints, the, you, you get an opportunity to speak. We also match that with some advertising in the Small Business Monthly. So again, we're increasing that exposure, increasing your the views and, and the uh, information that you're going to get out to folks uh, who are interested in your products and services. So it's all about that exposure. I think the, the sponsorship packages we have do a great job of really exposing our vendors and our sponsors to these great companies that come through looking for businesses just like them. We had a vendor who got a million dollar contract at this show. So, I mean, they're there. They're out there. It's just we need to expose uh, uh, these vendors to those folks. Ron, what is the best way to be a a sponsor of this program? We have a couple of different sponsorships. Um, You'll find them at stlexpo.com. There are uh, uh, other opportunities, like you could be the the sponsor of the networking area. You can be the bag sponsor. There there are so many ways for, for you to gain that exposure from folks. And the sponsorships really offer you even more of an increased visibility to a lot of the people coming through the show. We can check out your website at stlexpo.com. I don't know how you have the energy, but you do these twice a year. When's the next one? November 1st, 2022, right here um, at the St. Charles Convention Center. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're going to have one a big stage of speakers, and every 20 minutes we're going to have a different speaker that's going to talk about a variety of business acumens and, and, and business ideas and strategies sure. and tips to help our uh, uh, small businesses. And we're going to have all the exhibitors here, and uh, it's going to be a great event. Well, Ron, you and your staff are sure great examples of helping small business. I want to thank you for what you do for not just the business community, but the whole area. And uh, thank you so much for having us here today and for being here yourself. Well, thank you very much. All right. Appreciate it. You bet. Thank you for listening to the podcast today. And you can follow us more on sbmon.com. Remember, the Small Business Monthly is the source for business owners. Here's another EG Media Group production. Create, connect, convert.